So I have my tea, have my mince pie, welcome to week three of Vlogmas. So my week has already started very nicely. Uh, yesterday, Monday, I, uh, yeah, yesterday I went out for dinner with two of my friends who we swept with at Laura Ashley. We try and catch up regularly, but we're really rubbish at doing that. It was, it was really nice to see them because, you know, I do miss seeing them and it just reminds me of how much fun that we just, you know, we all used to have all together. So as well as being busy socially, I also did a heap of Christmas shopping. Well, at the time it felt like it, but now I've like looked at it, it doesn't actually seem like I've done that much. But before I show you all the presents that I bought, I thought I would talk to you about the Chronicles of Narnia, seeing as that is what I'm reading for December. I am enjoying it so far. I've come to realise that the books themselves are actually really short. Narnia is like... 86 pages and it's like 100 pages. I can't remember if I've already talked about this or not. It seems, I know I've like talked about it with people, but I can't remember if I've talked about it like with you. I finished the first one, which is The Magician's Nephew, which is the first case of traveling to the other world. And then like it also has like the founding of Narnia and sort of establishing sort of like how like people and things come to be. And then the second one is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I guess obviously because the film fleshes it out like so much more, everything feels like it's actually happening very quickly. So like they're pretty much they're already at the house in the country um lucy discovers the wardrobe very quickly edmund follows her it all like happens very quickly and i am reading this and remembering how much of a little shit edmund was the only weird thing about the book is that the whole point is that the white witch um she is making it winter forever and never christmas and the chapter i've just gotten to the spell is starting to break and father christmas pops up and it is the strangest thing ever. So, obviously, so they haven't met Aslan yet. So, Aslan, obviously, in, like, the adaptations that we know, gives them their weapons, you know, Peter, the sword and the shield, Lucy, the bow and the horn, not Lucy, sorry, Susan, the bow and the horn, and then Lucy, she gets the dagger and the little vial. Yeah, Santa gave them those as presents. Santa never gave me a sword. I would love a sword for Christmas, or a bow and arrow. I'd be thrilled. It's actually a slight weird thing. But other than that, it seems co totally completely normal. I feel like I should be able to get through this book quite quickly, but I am really struggling. Not because of the book. The book itself is, like, fine. The language is really easy. Hi. I love it. It's like, it's all by Jove and good golly. And I apologise. Shake hands. It's... It's so frightfully, frightfully, I love it. You can't help it. You read it in a very, very posh Mary Poppins kind of accent. I'm just so tired at the moment when I'm on my lunch break. So I have been taking my glasses with me to try and like help combat that because it feels more my eyes are tired and my brain. So yeah, I have been taking my glasses with me to try and help me with that. So let's talk presents. Um, I'm doing well so far. I am actually now completely done. Uh, I've only really got my dad and my mum to get full, but because I'm getting my mum, I don't know, I'm looking as if she's going to be there. Because I'm getting my mum a mattress topper, it's... It's not exactly easy to hide in the house, so yeah, that's gonna be like last minute. Okay, let's put the tea down. This is gonna be dangerous. First pal is my friend Gavin. So I have got him a little set of beard oils, because you know, he has a beard. I wouldn't just get him for that because that would be weird. And then whilst we were into Wonderland, I discovered that he likes alpacas, so I thought I would get him just like a joke alpaca flask, and on the back of it it says alpaca the flask, like. That's my kind of pun. I wanted to get him. Like, I thought we had, like, a little miniature things of different um, red wines. Turns out they were port. The other ones are red and white wine. I don't know if he drinks white wines. I was like, damn it. And then I happened to see that instead. So for the lovely Alice, whose parents are coming to collect this on Thursday, and thank God I was really worried that, like, they wouldn't turn up first, I bought her two books. The first one is uh, Five Stories High. So this is set in like a building with history. And so I think it is going to be, five, I assume, five different stories based on the residents who live there. And the second one is 359. And um, this takes place between Josie and Joe, who turn out to be doppelgangers and end up crossing over into each other's parallel universe. Josie rather likes, wait, hang on, no. Joe rather likes Josie's world and seals the portal behind her so she can't get out. Joe is stuck in a load of crap. Which I thought was weird. I don't know. Not weird, but when I read it, because it makes out that Joe's life is perfect, but then she trapped Joe. No, she trapped Josie in like her world, which seems really good, but I don't think it is. Um so yes, yeah, so every night at 3.59, um Josie starts having these dreams about Joe, so that's when they like they connect. It does actually sound really interesting, and I can imagine it would make a really amazing TV series. And then for her final present, just a really nice, I love this, there are so many versions of this gift set at work, with like two mugs and lots of teas, or there's like, I'm sorry, your book fell off my lap. 
or there's like a mug and then like a like a little ceramic like this same ceramic um like white toast holder with some teas but i went for this one because it's nice and cute and then for my bestie stevie her actual present is yet to arrive yet but just as like little extras i've got her nerves got her cute little disney socks because who doesn't love disney and then finally from mom papa although i have not finished shopping for him i'm probably gonna get him a bottle of whiskey and then I'll just get his like other half, like a bottle of Prosecco or something. Cause I'd like do joint stuff for them, but we, we don't do separate. That's just not happening. So the main thing that he wanted and that he actually told me about was he wanted L'Oreal skincare. So I bought him L'Oreal skincare. So I've got him one um, all in one moisturizing sensitive for sensitive skin. So it's a post shave. So it sort of soothes and protects, but hydrates at the same time. And then the other one is the Hydra Energetic what is it, uh, anti-fatigue moisture pot. They do a couple of different ones like this, but this one has shea butter, so I thought this one would be more moisturizing and a lot nicer. And then their actual Christmas present, not like their actual, but like their like joint thing. I have got them a plant your own chili set. And I, I love the bucket. The bucket is super cute. I always find it ridiculously hard to shop for my dad. Like it's so hard. He like never gives me any ideas and Dan Brown only brings out a book like once in a blue moon. So I tend to always go like um, food and drink based with him and I've got him some really cool stuff from Hotel Chocolat before like um chocolate infused beer and I got him um horseradish with like white chocolate nibs in it and stuff so I like to try and like do like some different things and I thought I wouldn't get him coffee this time because last year I got him this really cool massive gift set from Wittards which had like 10 different coffees from around the world which had which were like lots of different strengths of varying from one to like five I think the highest is um before that I got him a nice like cafetiere sort of thing so I thought I would go something different but I don't know I just like like the idea of this it just seems like really quite cute and it would look very nice I like stuff like this so that's where I'm at, at the moment so all I'm waiting for is for Stevie's print to turn up and that is it and then other than that it will just be like buying for dad I have found the whiskey where's my tea I have found the whiskey and it is on offer. It's trying to get there. And I was gonna see if I could click and collect it, but they were gonna charge an additional four pounds and it's on offer. I was like, no. So um, I'm gonna see if that's possible. Probably not. But like my local supermarket, like, ooh, get into the drag sale. Bitter. They always do stuff like, you know, like bottles of spirits for like down to 15 pounds or something. I had like 45 pounds like um, budgeted each from mom and dad. And so far and dad I've only spent like 16. So yeah, I've still actually got quite a lot. So I can get like two bottles of alcohol and then something else. So I might get something foodie. I d don't really know. But that is that. I have quite a quiet week planned this week actually. So yeah, I will definitely, I'll get Alice's present wrapped. I say I will, as you saw in my last video, my mother, my mother will get it wrapped for me. I'm not good at wrapping. I don't really enjoy it. Like it's just so much effort. So yeah, it's quite a quiet week for me. Just a lot of work and like gymming and stuff. And yeah, I've been leaving my book at work actually because it's so heavy and where I've been carrying lots of stuff home from town it's just too much so I'm going to start trying to bring my book back home with me now so I can try and get a bit more reading done at home as well but other than that that is kind of like it for the week I'm still looking at book tags to film on Saturday I'm sure I'll find something or think of something I think I found one that like I've bookmarked I just gotta find it again original tattoo that I was looking at before I got my other one um this is the one I saw and I kept coming back to she had all these like really cute like lovely little miniatures and I just kept coming back to the same design and yeah I was gonna like email the place but she was um at the time I think she was away in America for two weeks so I was like oh yeah I'll like eventually I'll get around to doing it and then I just thought you know what like on a way I was really anxious because you had to email the shop not the person so I was like really nervous about doing it but I finally just did it 
they were saying about how they were taking bookings for like January and I was like yeah that's fine so I was sort of saying that you know like my working and stuff like my days off but how I finish at um like at half two and stuff so I can come in for afternoons and then they were like yeah to book an actual like slot then just like 20 pound deposit and then let us know did that and they were like so how's the 12th of December and I was like wait what <laughs> so yeah not January ended up being the 12th of December so so quick so that was like two weeks ago that all got booked total cost was 80 pounds which i think is amazing especially considering the size of it that was the second smallest um she printed out four sizes for me and i instinctively went for the two smaller ones even though they weren't actually that small but I have to say, she was amazing. Uh, the place is called um, Death's Door at Brighton. I will link their Instagram and her Instagram below. She is the nicest, most amazing human being I have ever met in my entire life. Like, I was... The thing is, like, I don't get stressed about getting a tattoo. It's the getting to there. Like, I was stressed and the trains would, like, cock up. And, like, I wouldn't be able to find it. It's that sort of thing. And I've never been there before, so I didn't know what the atmosphere would be like if there'd be other people. And it turns out it was just me and her, so we, like, locked ourselves in. She's the friendliest person I've ever met. I felt so at ease. I mean, it was more painful than the hand poke, but that could be because of, like, the location of it. Or maybe I just... My body prefers a hand poke. Who knows? Yeah, she was just really chatty, which was lovely. And she kept apologising. And I was like, no, no, no. It just made me feel... I don't know why I'm going to try and hold this in my left arm because that one hurts. But it just made me feel like so at ease and so comfortable with her. I was like, this is so nice. Um, yeah, I just felt like, <laughs> like looking at it in the mirror now, just like, oh my god, it's here. Um, and that's a really awful close up of my face. But yeah, I'm just too busy checking it out. So she was so lovely. And then at the end, I even got like a little goodie bag and I got cream with it. And I got a lollipop. I even got a lollipop. When I walked in there, there was like a song playing. And I was like, this song sounds really familiar. And it was using the music from the Rugrats. And I was like, is this the Rugrats? She was like, oh my god, yes. But no, she was the most friendliest, most loveliest human being I've ever met. I definitely will probably get another tattoo done by her. She was just, like, amazing. She put me so at ease. And, yeah, I just, like, I loved her. So, happy Christmas to me. This tattoo was partly paid for, probably, by my dad and by me after, like, the um, combined totals of, like, the jacket and, well, jackets, because I decided he would give me both of them because he, like, gave me enough money. And I had, like, 20 or pound left. So, yeah, he paid for, like, a tiny portion of it. I can't wait now for mum to get home so she can like see it in the flesh but I love it I love it so much hey just a really quick present update um just as my friend's poster from House of Media Lima has finally arrived please excuse all the clothes on my bed drying out but I got a little bit damp walking home it is full on just like it's tipping it down it's horrible <laughs> it is really horrible so yeah I love it. Even like the paper on this side, it's got like really faint, like not light, like pastely fluorescent green. It's like a really bright green, but on here it looks like it blends really nicely. It's got like the little House of Me and Lina, Lina Lima logo. And now for the reveal. Is it not just the most beautiful thing ever? I love it so much. I love all of it. I literally am just like trying to make sure that you can like see every last bit of it. It is just amazing. The paper is lovely and gorgeous. It's like slightly like raised and bumpy. I don't know. All I know is is that the damn thing is beautiful and I absolutely love it. It's bigger than I thought. I know it did include the um, sizing. In my head, I just, I clearly didn't, in my head, I clearly didn't picture it big. Um, yeah, in my head, I thought it would be smaller for some really strange reason. I don't know. I, I do. I absolutely love it. And then again, on the back of it, it's got the Mina Lima logos all over it. It's so pretty. Delicately put that down. So yeah, I was obviously going to do a book tag, but then I like showed you all my presents and then I changed my mind. So yeah, that is it for this week. I don't think I will be filming anything else now yeah because tomorrow's sunday and i'm not really gonna be doing anything so yeah next week i've got at least one more meal to go possibly um some other bits going on but yeah i'm officially like that is it my shopping is all done yesterday was yesterday or the day before where are, where are we on the calendar it was saturday so 
Thursday I went and picked up the last bits for my mum and my dad I just need to buy like a bottle of um, Prosecco for my dad's girlfriend or sherry or for the hell she drinks but um yeah that is it I'm officially done now Christmas shopping is over oh, which makes me so happy like I just can't be dealing with it can't be dealing with like trying to figure everything out I hope you've had a great week as well and I hope you've got lots of cool presents message me message me comment below with all like the presents you bought like what you think of some of the gifts that I've been giving and all that stuff if you enjoyed the video then give me a thumbs up hit that like button and if you are new then please subscribe and see lots more fun content I am now gonna go sit down because I am so cold you have no idea like I'm literally like freezing this is probably why I'm not so animated right now because I'm just trying to conserve like some goddamn heat. Have a lovely um, week to come guys and I will speak to you next week. And it'll be nearly Christmas, which would be super scary. Just throwing that out there for you. <laughs>